Ali Shapur of the Saffron Palace joins us now today to talk about Nowruz. Thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting us. So for some who may not be familiar with Nowruz, tell us what it is. Sure. Nowruz is a celebration of New Year and also celebration of starting the spring and the new life after the springs. And it's been celebrated for thousands of years. And uh, 21st of March. Yes. So that, and that's when the new year begins, the 21st exactly, of March. Okay. Exactly. Which is the first year of spring. Yes. And I'm glad to announce that uh, British Columbia government yes. has uh, uh, registered 21st of March as the day of no rules. Yes. And Canadian calendar as the first province. And uh, so millions of uh, Persians all around the world are celebrating no rules and uh, the new season. Yeah, and we're starting to make headway because in 2010 it was recognized as well, I understand. So slowly, by, right? By exactly. slowly we're making headway there. Exactly. So this is, and so what are we doing today? Because you brought some incredible things. It's, I know we're going to actually make some things, but it smells incredible already. So. It is. It is. We are from Saffron Palace. Yes, Saffron, Saffron Palace. Palace is a kind of a boutique that has opened the first door in North America. Okay. Um, nine months ago, we originally started from Dubai. Yes. The idea was to have a premium products uh, from all around the Middle East. From Iran, we have Iranian saffron, which is the most uh, famous and um, high quality saffron in the world. They call it red gold. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's like the most expensive spice in the world. Mm -hmm. It goes for thousands of years. Humans used to have these on drinks and food. And it has a very good effect on the uh, health and uh, it's super anti-stress. Oh, smells Super anti-stress, anti super everything. I just, I could use a bucket of this. Don't stuff. drop it though, because that's, that's a lot of money. Ooh, that's <laughs> <a> lot <laughs> that's of the red gold, oh, have it oh, nowhere oh, near oh, me yeah. though. Yeah. That's good. And then, and you, we grind it down, correct? Exactly. When we're making it into a tea, is that exactly. correct? Exactly. Okay. This is the traditional way that we are getting the, you know, the most of saffron with usage mm -hmm. of the less amount okay. and getting more aroma and color. So just a little bit of saffron goes to the grinder. They're going to grind it. We're going to add a little bit of hot water. A little saffron goes Juicy a little. saffron okay. liquid. We can have it on the tea. We can have it on the food. Hmm. Some countries, they have it even in the coffee. Wow, okay. And uh, it goes basically with everything. I've, I've cooked with saffron before, although it's a special treat for me. Um, but I've never tried the tea. Beautiful. We're going to try it today. Okay, sounds good. Sure, yeah. sure. Can I grind this down? Of Can course, I help you out of here? Of course. Just a little pinch, you said. Just a correct? little pinch, exactly. Okay. So that enough? Or? Exactly. We can have some more. Okay. Be my guest. I don't want to mm -hmm. overuse the red worry. gold just, here. But yeah. Okay. Beautiful. That about that? You okay. just need to grind it. Just grind that down. I have some hot water here. Perfect. Oh, you can smell this coming in already. Oh, that's amazing. I know, it does smell very nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Okay, so and, and how much you grind it down? Just about that? Like just it's until it gets... Exactly. Perfect. And until we grind it. And then that just goes directly totally into hot water. Exactly. Okay. Then we are going to add a little bit hot water to it. Okay. And then it becomes just uh, like a juice. And I'm going to add this to our tea. Lovely. And, and you also have some uh, some traditional food as well, because that goes that partners with the tea, correct? We have different type of uh, uh, products from Middle East. We have Iranian pistachio, okay. Iranian caviar. Also, we have different type of dates from Dubai. We have chocolate coated dates, stuffed dates for the first time in Canada. We have Turkish delight from Turkey. We have different type of baklavas, also coming from Middle East. And different type of dry fruits, uh, figs, white mulberry. These are perfect snack yeah. with tea. And uh, I just want to... Have you guys tried the white mulberry before? No. Yeah. Okay. Thank this you. is from the berry family, but it's interesting. Okay. It doesn't Thank grow you. in Canada. And it's so sweet. And it comes from the tree mm. Mm -hmm. in Europe and the Middle East. And Those are yummy. Oh, yes. And not oh, too yes. sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not too sweet. Exactly. No, it's nice. And natural fruit, you know. So I'm just going to give you guys some. Okay, we're going to try some saffron tea. Of course, and soon we are going to provide some traditional tea in a way that I'm serving you guys in our store. And also we're going to have Turkish coffee soon in Vancouver. Okay. Which I'm sure a lot of people are the fan of Turkish and coffee. And where is your store located? 
We are at West Vancouver, 1471 Bellevue. Okay. Um, beautiful Ambleside Beach yeah. is next to us. So. Perfect. Well, thank you for coming in today. You're welcome. Ellen. Thank you for. Happy Nehru's. Happy Nehru's as well. Thank you very much. Well. Thank you guys, thank and you. wish you a great spring ahead. Mm -hmm. sure. Thank you very much Happy for coming in. Happy New Year in. to you. Thank you very much.